Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another screencast. Uh, this is uh, moving through the prologue unit uh, towards the end of the actual, you know, that basic information you need to know. Uh, today we're going to be talking about density. Uh, definitely one of the most important things in in earth science and probably amongst the sciences altogether. It is definitely an important topic of uh, something that you've probably heard about uh, before in earlier grades and talked about or in even maybe even a little bit in day to day life. Uh, so we're going to spend a little time talking about this, maybe a little bit longer than usual, but it's definitely something that's pretty important. And it, this density theme runs its way through pretty much every single unit in this course. So it's something you should probably want to definitely at least watch this once, twice, or maybe three times to make sure you really have it down pat. Okay, so there's a couple of things we need to clear up first before we go into density. Uh, and that is the difference between mass and weight. A lot of people get these confused, so it's something that we really need to kind of clear up. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Uh, matter, it could be compounds, you're, it really, or anything made up of your simplest elements. It would be gold, oxygen, carbon, whatever the case may be, those atoms are what makes up that matter. Weight, on the other hand, is the force of grav, uh, the effect of gravity pulling on that matter or pulling on that object. So if an area's got more gravity, then they'll have a higher weight. One easy example and something that we're pretty com uh, commonly familiar with is the differences between someone's weight on the Earth and the Moon. The Earth has a lot more mass, so it has a higher gravitational field on it. And because we're on it, then our weights will go up. Uh, I'm sorry, that person with the same mass, and then you go to the moon, their weight will actually be about one-sixth of what it is on here. So they will weigh less. But the amount of stuff that makes them up or that matter is the exact same thing. Okay, This is just looking at a few different places uh, around our solar system. So here on Earth, our mass is about 63.5 kilograms. Um, which is approximately 140 pounds. Basically, take this number, multiply it by two. That's the simplest way. So someone who weighs 140 pounds here on Earth, if you take them, bring them to the moon, they weigh less. They weigh 23 pounds. There's less gravity on the moon. You take that same person and you go over to Jupiter, one of the largest or the largest uh, planet in our solar system, they would weigh 355 pounds. Take that person, go all the way over to the sun, and that person that weighs 140 pounds on Earth would weigh almost 4,000 pounds on the sun. So gravity has a huge effect on the person's weight, but no effect on their mass. Notice that the mass stayed the same at all locations. Okay, so density. Density depends on the amount of mass or the, how closely packed those particles are. Uh, the formula is in page one of the reference table. So let's go take a look at that. And here's our reference table right here. We took a look at this yesterday. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we keep going in. And we go to the same spot where we went looking at the rate of change. And you can see here. And we scroll into the equation section. And if we look right here. There's our density formula. Density equals mass over volume. Pretty simple. It's right there. Most people probably know this point. Sometimes what we've, uh, what some students have learned earlier is this nice little triangle. So we have this, looks like that. And then we have density, mass, and volume. Density equals mass over volume. We'll come back to this triangle again. Okay. So, like we said, density equals mass over volume, or the triangle, three spots, three letters. There you go. Density equals mass over volume. Over here, we can see with these two little uh, rectangular prisms that we have the density of the left one is higher than the density of the right one. Density here, there's more particles packed into it, so it has a higher density. Okay, uh, some here's a problem right here finding the density of this cube. 
So we have here, we first thing we write is density equals mass over volume. And we're going to start substituting in, just like we did with the rate of change the other day. Mass, 480 grams. Okay. Make sure we always have our units. And then we need to find the volume. We'll define volume of an object like this. It's length times width times height. So which equals here 10 centimeters times 3 centimeters times 8 centimeters. And when we go do the math for this, 10 times 3 is 30. 30 times 8 is 240. And it's centimeters times centimeters, so that's centimeters cubed. Put that on the bottom, 240 centimeters cubed. And so then 480 divided by 240 is 2 grams per centimeter cubed. And that is your answer. That's it. Very simple, very basic density problem. Okay. Here's a couple more density problems. Um, we'll do the first one together. And then I'll leave the other two up and we'll work through those also. So first thing, calculate the density of a rock that has a mass of 40 grams and a volume of 5 centimeters cubed. Well, we always start. So for the first one up here, this is number one. Number one, density equals mass over volume. So we know our mass, 40 grams, says it right there, over Volume, 5 centimeters cubed, 5 centimeters cubed. So 40 divided by 5, that's 8 grams per centimeter cubed. That's it. That's your density right there. Um, you can use a calculator in Earth Science, but things like this, 40 divided by 5, you probably should know. And I uh, definitely feel like that at this point in the game, you should be able to do 40 divided by 5. And even like in the previous problem, there's some basic math that it would make your life a lot easier if you could do in your head. And that's it. All right, let's take a look at number two. Get one on. Right here. We have an unknown sample that has a density of eight grams per centimeters cube. If the mass of that sample is 16 grams, what is its volume? So here's a little bit different of a problem. And this is where that triangle definitely comes back. Here we're not asked to find the density, but we're looking for the volume. So let's start with the triangle. Density, mass, volume. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover up the thing that we're looking for. So in this case, we're going to cover up the volume right here. So volume equals our mass over our density, mass over density. And we can go back in and substituting just like we normally do. We have a mass of 16 grams over our density of eight grams per centimeters cubed. So we can do this math, 16 divided by eight is two. Now our volume, we just have to make sure we get our units. Well, grams right here, they're gonna basically cancel out. Grams is a unit of uh, mass, and we're gonna be left with centimeters cubed. It's a little bit of a spin on a, on a typical density problem. But you can see, if you work through it, nice and easy, start with the triangle. Cover up what you need, then write the formula, substitute in. You cannot get this wrong. You Really, the only spot you may get it wrong is with the math, but we can alleviate that over time. Okay, let's work on the third one. Okay, an unknown sample has a density of 10 grams per centimeters cubed and a volume of 2 milliliters. What is the mass of that sample? Just a quick thing, volume of two milliliters, one milliliter is the same as one centimeter cubed. These are both units of volumes right here, just uh, metric units. So don't worry, don't, don't get too confused by that. So let's start with our triangle. There we go. Density, mass over volume. 
So here, what are we looking for? We're looking for the mass. So we'll cover that mass up right here. Mass equals density times volume. Keep going. We're going to substitute in our density was 10 grams per centimeters cubed times, remember, a milliliter is the same as centimeters cubed, 2 milliliters. Let me do this. This is going to cross out, cross out. And so we get 10 times 2 is 20 grams. That's it. Dunzo. Pretty easy stuff.